Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Libra people out there. So just keep that in mind as we go along. Now, um, we have this spread at this time, and it also includes uh, shamanic um, oracle messages to give us some form of um, information on the key themes that we might be going through right now and you know it could be things that we we can expect of what we need to know that's going to be panning out for us and it could also tell us on the underlying themes that we might not be clearly seeing but they do exist in that situation so um yeah uh so without any further ado let's go into the reading and um i know you guys are you know if you do know tarot you will notice that there are a lot of difficult cards right now but um uh, it is always my rule not to make judgment j based on the cards alone because um, based on experience and with my other readings, sometimes even though that they may not be the best of the cards, ultimately cards are just mediums for other readers to actually tune in with the energy and it does not always promise that, you know, that's going to be the entire message. So... Um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just go into the reading and see what is really going on with you guys, Libra people out there. Now, we are focusing on the center card. This is going to be representing you right now and your uh, what's going on with you in the present moment as we move forward with this. And we have the four of wands. And, and this is actually quite funny because if you will notice in this whole reading, this is the only... <laughs> The only card that seems to be really positive and nice to see is the center card. So it makes you feel that you're actually doing well much more than you thought. Much more than other people think. And there is a possibility that all of these people are the ones that are not doing well. Except for you. That is an open possibility, but at the same time, this can also tell us that maybe things are doing very well for you. Uh, it could be that your career is going well, your family life is well. Your there's a lot of comforts in your in your life right now, and you know it's not really a point wherein you can complain about anything at all. But uh, there's a possibility that maybe things are doing really really well but it does not mean that you are entirely happy with what's going on we, remember we do have the hangman on top of uh this reading we do have the nine of wands and um the hermit card and the three of wands now this gives me a feeling wherein you know maybe for some of you you are waiting on something or there is something that is at the distance you know, maybe this is about you longing for a particular person. Maybe you're missing someone in your life right now. It, there is a strong possibility that the three Libras that I'm seeing in this reading are someone who is single. Someone, a woman that's very strong maybe. You know, it doesn't have to be a woman really. It could be a man as well um this is a vice versa kind of thing it could be pertaining to you or the other person that you know about it's like they're living the perfect life everything is smooth flowing but deep inside of them at the end of the day when they sleep at night when they are at home it gets a feeling wherein there is a, a form of emptiness inside of them and that's really very evident over here as well, you know. And uh, you are now at the point of your life where and you're hoping that things are going to progress a lot more smoother. You're hoping that things are going to work out in a way that you are hoping and envision things to be. Uh, it makes me feel very much so that there could be part of a certain person in your life that you're longing for wishing for and hoping um to connect with um 
or for some of you this is a, just about you wanting to to bond with someone you know it's like it's like telling yourself that i need love i need someone to be with i want to be with someone i want to feel love i want to feel happy in a way we're in there's a form of ecstasy in it because even though your life is perfect you cannot entirely find yourself in a very perfect situation until you have that person you have that relationship that is really fulfilling to you i mean you're a libra <laughs> you know um being not in a relationship is really out of the question so this entire situation is quite odd I, if i had to say so myself and it could be a situation wherein you had a lot of troubles and you know it could be a relationship that has a lot of history in it and maybe you have chosen to let go of that person but it doesn't really mean that you entirely have let them let them go just yet or this could be yeah like i said earlier this is about you longing to bond with someone to be with someone and i kind of feel that this could be also a situation wherein you know um in the past we have the death card the hangman and the queen of swords this could be a situation wherein you know you have you have been really really cold with, with with your decisions you're not really you know this is really more of a situation wherein maybe there has been some form of changes in terms of your love life in your your relationship it could be that you have made a harsh choice you know and it doesn't have to be a harsh choice for that person but this could be you you've made a hard decision for yourself for a greater purpose in mind uh maybe you know you have seen things a lot differently in the past which made you decide things on a different set of situation as well and now maybe you have fixed things for yourself you're now looking into the situation we're in um i had a problem before and i had to make a decision to fix that problem and now that i feel that i'm doing well this is the situation that i'm being faced on i'm alone i'm single and i can't really tell myself that i'm entirely happy with the decisions that i've made but i'm also not regretting the fact that i've done what i have done you know that is really the vibe and energy that i'm picking up over here we also have here the seven of pentacles the three of wands and the four of cups so this gives me a feeling wherein you are still really going to be waiting and hoping for that person and this is not me trying to encourage you <laughs> with um waiting on a past lover or anything like that uh i'm basically just a messenger here so i'm just telling you guys what the cards are saying so um yeah don't get me wrong on that so from here we are seeing that even though times have passed things have moved forward we are seeing here that whatever it is that you have decided upon in the past it's still something that's inside of you you're still hoping for things to to move forward and i kind of feel that this is about you still longing for a person from the past for whatever reason uh it could be because of how much you truly love that person i mean i'm not here to judge um i i truly believe that each of each and every one of us have their own story and we are all having our own journey and uh, you know regardless if you're a reader or not you're in, you, you cannot really make a judgment on what is the right thing to do whether a person should really move on from a relationship or from their past or not 
I kind of feel that the only people who will be able to know what is the what is the actual situations are the one who is inside of that relationship, which is you. So there could be a reason why you're you, why you're being like this, why you are being you, why you're still being stubborn and waiting for that person, why there are a set of beliefs inside of you that just won't change because obviously i do know for a fact that the other person that you're waiting on they're not the best person to be with however the best person to be with is not going to be perfect for you that person is perfect because you have accepted them accepted them and loved them the way that they are despite of their flaws so i kind of feel that there could be an offer of some kind that will be bestowed upon you but for now i'm not really sure where things are going to lead because we have here the queen of swords the hermit and the four of of cups it gives me a feeling that you know there is going to be a conclusion with this story but we're not entirely seeing it just yet because something is about to happen something is about to occur but your emotions and feelings with something that has already ended in the past is going to be revived this month definitely so uh, let's see what's going on with the shamanic cards. We have here the card of... It's just so hard to read this stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the card of... Is this burden or border? It's burden. <laughs> it's the card of burden and the card of forgiveness. Home. We have here the card of struggle. And it's quite funny how um, I did not even read <laughs> the deck. Uh, and for some reason, it has still reflected, you know, the keywords, the card itself. It still reflected the energies of this entire reading. We are having burden, forgiveness. We have the card of struggle. All of those kinds of things. Now here we have the card of joy and duality. This is really telling us about, you know, some form of coming together. Maybe it's a possibility. Some form of relationship that is going to change. And maybe there is going to be a need to sort out past issues. To remove all of the negative things that has happened. We do know for a fact that, you know, there there could be some form of emotional baggages that could be present into the situation and those things are needs to get healed, you know. Some form of emotional things needs to be let let go of. And, you know, being open to a possibility of reconciliation maybe. Since we do have the duality card at the end, it makes me feel that, you know, this is about you confronting something in the past, confronting a person that maybe has hurt you quite deeply. And um, I just want to, to put this out there because, you know, a lot of people would think that, but I've moved on from that person and now it doesn't make sense that I'm feeling this way with towards the idea of wanting to be with them again it just doesn't make sense but you know sometimes we don't really stop loving the person in the past it's just that things have been on pause you know and the fact that things have paused down it means that it can be resumed all over again and you come to realize that you did not really move on from that person. You really did not give up the idea of being with that person again. It's just that you need to sort out other things. Um, maybe the situation before has been way too toxic. 
and now is that time wherein you guys need to confront things and really face each other head on so the idea of it gives me that energy wherein you have shut off your emotions in the past and right now suddenly all of this energies are being felt once again and you are maybe working your way into harmonizing that form of alliance that form of partnership in place so um i kind of feel that this is going to be very specific i doubt that every libra people is going to have this kind of situation but this is definitely going to be interesting because um it makes me feel that this is really more relating to a person who has some form of deep love towards someone and they don't want to admit it they refuse to admit it but um whether they do admit that or not only they would know and they are going to realize how much they actually want this connection the fact that they are willing to to risk certain things to refuse certain people just to be with that person there's going to be some form of waiting there were frustrations and you have overcome it and now you are at the point of your life where in you're willing to find answers willing to to work around things maybe do some shadow work do things that allows you to open the path on connecting with that person to open the path in bonding with that person once again reopening connections and sorting out the wounds you had with a particular person in your life so we're not really seeing that there's going to be some form of active movement i mean that's possible but um right now it makes me feel that you have sorted something for yourself and now you are ready to sort um your situation with the other person with your partner at the same time because as a libra you're not really someone who can do things um in a multitask kind of way you can do things one step at a time only that's libra and at the same time you cannot attend to the other person forever <laughs> without attending to yourself so whatever it is in the past that you have made the decision on which led you to make a decision to choose yourself it's not something that you should regret and now that you are ready now that you have sorted out what you needed to sort out and you're ready to to open the path with that person again i kind of feel that um this is the right thing you know uh it it might have been a very very slow process and other people may not understand your own reasonings and your own decision makings but i kind of truly feel <laughs> with this reading that this breakthrough and situation that's going to be happening for you is going to allow you to be more receptive to things with the matters of the heart and i kind of feel that it has a form of healing and surprise that comes with it as well something is going to be rebalanced and reharmonized we are not really entirely seeing that it's all going to be moving forward all in one go within this month but we are seeing here that you are now being more open to it you're now willing to sort it out for some of you guys you might even be expecting this person to come around in your life 
Um, anyway, I, I really feel that this is going to be uh, very specific and I doubt it's going to connect to each and every Libra people out there. But yeah, do let me know. If you do want to take a look on your own situation, specifically done for you in your own situation to get answers and predictive um, insights and information, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy dot com, or you can always email me at in the stars by Chrissy at gmail dot com, and um yeah we can do and make a reading for you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And I'll see you guys again next month. Goodbye.